Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this dynamic looking typography poster in Illustrator. First step, select your text that you want to put on the poster. Okay, so I'm going to recolor this. Let's say I'm going to color it orange. And I'm going to put a black rectangle. So I'm going to select the black color. I'm going to select the rectangle. And the main idea is to put it like this. So some of the areas from the typography are going to go out. I'm going to right click, arrange, send to back. So as you can see, some of the parts are out, which is good. I also, I'm also thinking to bring this back a little. little. And select both of these, press Shift plus M, or you can select the Shape Builder tool, press and hold Shift plus Alt, and select these areas which are basically out of the rectangle and delete those. Okay, I gotta create a new copy. Press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, and I'm gonna recolor this as, I don't know. So I'm gonna select this one and right click group. I'm gonna basically group them both. So the darker one is going to be in the back. I'm gonna press Shift plus Alt. I'm gonna scale it up a little like this. Now I'm gonna bring this, as you can see, it's, it's going under. So I'm gonna right click, arrange, bring to front. And I'm gonna select both and arrange it basically here. Okay, now we can apply the blend. Go to the object, go to blend, make. And I can double click here on the blend tool and add some copies, like four copies. If you want to change this, you can double click and you can basically select the inner typo, inner poster. You can scale it down, scale it up, you know, position in different, in different places. This looks pretty good. And this is how you make this poster. Thanks so much for watching it. If you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.